Hi guys, welcome to Stuff You Should Buy. This is Harry, and today we're going to be looking at this Backup Plus Slim Seagate hard drive. It's a portable hard drive, and you might be thinking, okay, just a hard drive? What's the big deal about this? Well, I'm going to do an unboxing, and if you want to use this as a portable hard drive, you'll get to see what it looks like. But the other thing is, I'm also going to pull this apart, and I'm going to show you how this particular hard drive you can take it out of its shell and install it into your MacBook Pro that uses a hard drive. I know a lot of them these days come with uh, SSDs and things like that, or they're a bit different. So if yours just takes a plain hard drive, then you can use this. And for the price, I mean, they, it's about 100 and it still is way cheaper for a 2 gig than buying it straight outright, specifically to put into your uh, laptop. It's got a metal design. I'm going to pull it apart so you'll see it's 12.1 millimeters in size. Just sort of showing you the packaging here. Hopefully it's in focus. Okay, here we go. Woohoo! So, anything else in there? Nothing else in there. Empty box. Pop that to the side. Pop this around. Okay, we've got a little bit of paperwork here. Just shows you how to connect it all up. Okay. Take it out. Wow, it is pretty light. Um, well, not light as a feather, but it's pretty light. Just pop that off. Take that out. Wow, it feels amazing. Wow. I went for this. You can get them in different colors. They come in sort of a red. It's a metallic sort of look here. So you get it in red. You can get it in blue. Um, I think green. It's going to be interesting trying to pop this off, though. Apparently it just pops off, so we're going to see. <laughs> Try not to damage it. And the cool thing is, after you've taken the hard drive out of this, see, I'm going to, I've got a one terabyte Pro, a 17 inch that I have. I'm going to pop this two terabyte in it, take the one terabyte out of that, and then pop it in here, and then use that as my portable drive, so it doesn't go to waste. Just some cables here. Pop that out. Now it is USB 3.0 and as you can see here it has its own particular plug. We're popping that in there to show you guys how it plugs in. There it is. And the other end is standard USB. Now the interesting part, trying to get this open. Okay guys, uh, I forgot to grab this tool, it just came back. Uh, this is a little plastic tool that I have, it was used to open phones in general, mobile phones. If you don't have something like this, just use a flathead screwdriver, but you've got to be really careful, because you can scratch this, okay? So now I'm just sort of going to try and do this around the camera, okay? So I've got this huge DSLR in front of me, I've got to watch out, I don't knock it over. I'm going to run this tool along here and then it pop, pretty much just pops off. Now I think there's like a clear plastic that also runs along here so I can sort of peel that off. You see that? I love these kind of things. If you've been following my channel, you'll know I do. <laughs> Ooh, let's get you off. Nice and shiny. There you go, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful hard drive, I have to admit. Now, uh, just pretty much running it along here and it should just pop off, we hope. Here we go. I do believe it may be glued down. I don't know. Like I'm hearing these little crackling thing bits. Bits of sounds. Can you hear that? <laughs> wow. Okay. Pretty game. I mean, there goes a the warranty already. I'm not recommending you do this, and I would seek professional help and advice. You know, I'm not an expert, and I'm not going to be liable for whatever damage you may do if you attempt to do this. But, you know, I'm just showing you what I'm doing and how it can be done. But again, at your own risk. So... Alright, so there is a bit of sort of stickiness there, some glue, some things are just sort of stuck there. I'll just flip it open here, peel back sort of that aluminium part, I guess. Okay. 
One other thing I haven't done, which is really important, is you should try and ground yourself when you're working with this kind of stuff here. I don't have my my actual grounding strap. I've left it in the work van, so it's kind of silly, but you want to touch the metal or ground yourself in some way. Usually there's a strip, strap that I have that goes around my wrist, and then I put it to a, a metal ground. And if Because we hold voltage in our body, believe it or not, ladies and gentlemen, we do. And it can... Short, and you don't want to have a little short. Have you ever sort of rubbed your feet on the carpet and then, yeah, well, this is the kind of stuff that can destroy electronics. When you pop it out, you want to be really careful because it's plugged into this bit here, okay, which is where your USB is as well. So it's sort of a little, I'm guessing, controller chip that reads. So you don't want to break it while it's in there. It does unplug, but you want to get this side out first, okay. So we're just sort of going to gently, it's supposed to just pop out. I don't want to break the case because as I said, I want to reuse it. So it's presenting a little bit of a, not really a challenge, but you know, being cautious because I've never done it before. And again, see, I'm using a plastic tool here. So if you're using a, a metal screwdriver, you want to be real careful. But I can already feel that it's come loose. And there we are, as you can see here. See? Ah, okay, so it fully comes out with the controller. Okay, so we'll pop that to the side there. Now, just peel this back. Just put like insulation there. Okay, whoop, that slides down from there. <laughs> and it looks first time for me. Now, this is where, see under here, don't want to be putting your fingers under there, especially if you've got static, okay? You can fry it. So, um, what you want to do is ground yourself. Let me just touch something metallic considering I'm standing on carpet and sort of just let me see if this thing it would see here it unplugs that's that's the actual plug for it so okay I couldn't find a flathead but I found something that is just as good this and again you need to be careful so I just sort of pop that in there something flat enough to just sort of fit in there Pop it up a bit more. Whoop, off it comes, and that's it there. Here, this is the actual board that has just come off. Okay, and that is your controller. So when you plug in another U, well, if you do, as I'm going to do, take out the hard drive that I'm using currently in my MacBook Pro. I'm going to plug it all back in, and that will be the controller for it, the USB. So having a look here, this is basically it pins all there ready to go so the next part of the video which will be video part two will be installing this into the macbook pro i have done a video previously installing and upgrading the hard drive in the macbook pro uh, it'll be the same process uh, as the previous or last video i made it a long time ago but that's it and I'm wrapped because it's a Samsung hard drive in here. You can get different ones. I'm not sure the other brands are in there. All right, guys, that's about it. I'll see you in the next part of the video. There'll be a link at the bottom of this video, which will be part two. And also, before you go, give me a thumbs up if you liked the video. If you didn't, sorry, I did my best. If you have any questions regarding what I've done here today, post them in the comment section and I'll get back to you. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Oh, by the way, if you know something I don't know about this, please uh, post it in the comment section and share with us because not only will it help me, it'll help anyone else who decides to come and have a look at this video. If you're uh, able to share me on uh, some social media loving, you know, Facebook, Twitter, Google+, any of that stuff, I'd really appreciate it as well. And other than that, you guys and girls have a wonderful day or night, wherever you are.